Thank you, Father. Even knowing and understanding, thank you, Lord God, that even here, as we're saying, there are Balaks, there are Balaks in the land, and there are people that's going to envy you, that's going to, that are jealous of you, people that, you know, and sometimes, you know, I can remember saying this one point at one time, you know, in my life when I didn't understand who I was in God, or understand, thank you, Lord God, there was somebody that was so jealous of me, and, and when I looked at this person, I'm like, you got here, you got, you know, you got house, and you got car, you got this, you got money, you got, you know, I was looking at, the, you know, the materialistic things, right? And and not understanding, they would just, the anointing, there are people that's going to be jealous of your anointing, there are going to be people that you, you might look at it and say, well, I don't have anything, but that's a lie, you do have something, you got God that's on your side, you have God in your life, and there are going to be people that's going to envy you, that's going to be jealous of you, so understand, there are some Balaks that are watching you right now, but even thank you, Lord God, still through the word of God. I thank God, amen, because even as the Lord is just continuously speaking, I thank God, amen, in his word, because God called, he said, blessed, blessed. When you look at the word blessed, amen, amen, uh, blessed means to appeal to someone or something, amen, praise God, as an authority. <laughs> blessed. God says we are blessed. Thank you, Lord God. And even as the Lord spoke to Abram and told him, you know, ble you're blessed. I'm going, to, I'm going to make you great. Your name is going to be great. Amen. I'm going to bless those that bless you, curse those that curse you. But even in the word of God, in Matthew, let's go to Matthew, Matthew chapter 5. Thank you, Lord God. And as we go to Matthew chapter 5, I thank God for his word. The Bible says in verse 10, blessed. Listen to the word. The Bible says, Blessed are they, amen, which are persecuted for righteousness' sake. The Bible says, Blessed are they which are persecuted, what? For righteousness' sake. If you're being persecuted, amen, praise God. And even still for the word of God, it says, For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Amen. This is the word of God. This is what God is saying. Blessed are they which are persecuted. We are a persecuted, amen, group of people. Amen. We are persecuted day in and day out, but God said you are blessed. Amen. Thank you, Lord God. He goes on in verse 11, and it says, Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. God is saying they're going to do some things against you for my sake. They're going, to, they're going to talk about you. They're going to do all kind of evil manner things against you. But all of these things that's being done against you is done for my sake. And God says, blessed are you. Thank you, Lord God, that we are blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. And even in verse 12, it tells us, it says, rejoice. It's telling us to rejoice. Why should we rejoice? Rejoice. God, you say rejoice. Yes, rejoice. And be exceeding, exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven. Amen. For so persecuted, amen, the prophets which were before you. you got to understand, we're not the first ones being persecuted. There were others that were persecuted before we were ever persecuted. But understand, thank you, Lord God. God is saying rejoice in this. Rejoice in it. Be glad in it. Thank you, Lord God, because there's a great reward for you. Thank you, Father. He goes on to say and letting us know in verse 13, it says, You are the salt. You are the salt of the earth. We are the salt of the earth, saints of God. You are the salt of the earth. Thank you, Father. And because we are the salt of the earth, listen, it says, but if the salt have lost its savor, in other words, if you lose in your flavor, if you lose in it, praise God, amen, wherewith shall it be salted? Amen. What, what good are we for, for to help, amen, somebody else if we've lost, amen, what God has called us to be, which is the salt of the earth? Amen. He goes on to say it is therefore, amen, good for nothing. Amen. We don't want that said to be, be named among us as the people of God. It says, but to be cast out. Amen. And be trotted under, praise God, the foot of men. No. God has called us, amen, the salt of the earth. We are. Thank you, Father. And I bless the Lord because still even in the word of God, he says, ye are the light of the world. You are the light of the world. Thank you, Lord God. In the name of Jesus. And understand this. When you take a light, even as the word of God says, a city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. 
You cannot be hid. You cannot be hid because you've been called to be the light of this world. Thank you, Father. Amen. And I bless God for what God is using his people to do and still understanding this morning just a word. Amen. Praise God. We always come. We want to encourage you through the word of God. Amen. And the word this morning as encouragement is blessed and favored by God. You are blessed and favored. Thank you, Lord God, by God. You are blessed and favored by God. The enemy, the enemy is still going to come and try to tell you something different. But I still thank God, amen, for the word of God. And still, even let's just finish this out. Verse 15, it says, Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, amen, but on a candlestick, amen, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Thank you, Lord God. God is calling us to shine. He's calling us. Thank you, Lord God. I'm talking to you this morning. God is calling you to shine. And the Bible says, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify the Father which is in heaven. I bless God in the name of Jesus this morning. And still understand, and even as we're talking about, amen, you're going to be persecuted. Amen. The persecution of Christians, amen, to understand in the New Testament, praise God, is an important part, amen, praise God in, in the early days and understanding that Christians were being persecuted. Why? Because, amen, of their beliefs. You're being persecuted because of what you believe and who you believe and what you're standing for. You're standing for God. You're standing in the name of Jesus. You're not taken down just because and even understanding. I still thank God for the word of God in Romans chapter 12. Thank you, Lord God, where he tells us, amen. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, present your bodies. Your body is a living sacrifice. He's already done it for us on the cross. He already sacrificed for us. But he's saying to us, present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto him. But then I love in verse 2 because it's verse 2 where he tells us, don't be conformed to this world. Don't be conformed to this world. Don't have one foot in the church and you got the other foot in the world. No, you got to choose. Thank you, Lord God. You got to choose what you're going to do and how you, who you're serving. Thank you, Lord God, that you're serving God. You're not taken down. Thank you, Lord God, because still again, understanding, even as we said, yeah, you're going to be persecuted. We're going to be persecuted. There are things that we're going to go through. We're going to be talked about. Amen. Praise God. And we are being talked about. You're being watched. You're being, praise God. Amen. And understand still again. The Balaks that are watching you. The Balaks that's trying to curse you. Oh my God, but still understand, what did God say? God said we are blessed. You are blessed and highly favored. You are favored of God in the mighty name of Jesus. And I thank God. I thank God and praise God for what he's done, what he did. Thank you, Lord God. Even, you know, I kept hearing all day yesterday. I kept hearing and I was like, what am I hearing? I'm hearing, I'm hearing. I, I was singing it, hearing, you know, you paid my ransom. You paid my ransom. I kept hearing it over and over again. Thank you, Lord God. And I found what it was. Amen. And even to understand. He paid our ransom, y'all. He paid a ransom. Thank you, Lord God. He paid a price for us. He paid what we couldn't. Uh, uh, he paid a debt that we couldn't pay. Thank you, Lord God. And understand that debt is paid in full. And what he's called you and I to do is to live this life, walk this life out in the name of Jesus. So what somebody talk about you? So what somebody don't like you? Thank you, Lord God. You Let me tell you, we're going to look at this still again. I'm not through with this story with Balak and Balaam. I want you to understand. Thank you, Lord God. When God decrees and declare a word over your life, amen, praise God. It's up to you to receive that word word. Amen. Stand on that word that what God has spoken because still again, God is not a man that he shall lie. You don't have to repent for what he said. If God said you're blessed, you are blessed in the name of Jesus. We're going to see what took place with the people of God and even later, praise God, this week, and I pray you hang in there with me, but still understand. Thank you, Lord God, and many of you are perhaps already know the story, but listen, I'm going to bring it to the point where we are, where we are today is still again to understand that God say that you are blessed. You are blessed. And if God say you're blessed, you're blessed. You're blessed. You are blessed. You're going to go through things. You're going to be persecuted because of his name's sake. Go back and read the word of God. But he said, blessed are they. Blessed. You're blessed in the name of Jesus. 
And I thank God for his favor. I thank God for the favor of God because even in thank you, Lord God, in Psalms, in Psalms, thank you, Lord God, 5 and 12. Thank you, Lord God. I praise God. And this is the Christian Standard Bible that I'm reading from. It actually says, for you, Lord, bless the righteous one. You surround him, thank you, Lord God, with favor like a shield. That's the word of God. Thank you, Father. Amen. The Lord, this is the word of God, what he's saying to you. I'm talking to you this morning. Thank you, Father. In the mighty, to understand. Woo. Because this is the thing. Many of us, we live in a life of defeat because we don't know who we are. We don't. <laughs> if you don't know who you are, somebody can come along and tell you anything. Come along and tell you anything and you'll go for what they're telling you. But let me tell you right now, in the word of God, we're in there, people of God. We're in the word. We are in the word of God and God said we are blessed. Thank you, Father. We are blessed and favored of God. Thank you, Lord God. Woo. God, I praise you. I thank you this morning. I thank you for your grace. I thank you, Father, for your mercy. I thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. I thank you for your favor. I thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Still knowing and understanding, people of God, we are created in the image of God. We are created in the image of God. And Father, we thank you. We're wearing the crown of favor. We wear the crown of favor. We thank you, Lord God, even as we declare your word. We are the head and never the tail. Thank you, Lord God. We are above only and never beneath. I thank you in the name of Jesus. I thank you for this life that we're living. Lord God, that you have caused us to live because of what you did, Lord God, for us. And because we repented of our sins. And let me say this. If you have not repented of your sins, if you have not accepted him as Lord and Savior, I pray in the name of Jesus that you would allow God into your life. Your life will be different. Thank you, Lord God, and more so it would be even better. I'm not saying you're not going to go through things because you will go through because of Christ. Amen. Because of his, the name. Thank you, Lord God. But I bless God in Jesus' name still again. Amen. This life that we're living, we're living it with purpose. We live it, thank you, Father, with passion, our love for him. We love God. We love him with all our heart, mind, soul. Thank you, Lord God. We live this life with praise, knowing, thank you, Lord God, that we are destined. We are destined to live the life of victory. Victory. Victory in the name of Jesus. You have victory, thank you, Lord God. And even still knowing we are not fighting for victory. We are not fighting for the victory in the name of Jesus. You already have it. It was paid in full. It was already done. It's done. Thank you, Lord God. And Father, we bless you. We thank you for the favor. The favor, Lord God, on each and every one of our lives this morning. We thank you that even as you surround us, Lord God, again. Thank you, Lord God, the favor. You surround us with favor like a shield. We thank you, Lord God, in your mighty name. We praise and glorify you because, Lord God, the righteous in the name of Jesus, this shield is a defense, Lord God. It's our protection. You cover us, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. And we praise you for this covering. We thank you in the name of Jesus. Your favor go before us. We thank Thank you in the mighty match this name of Jesus. Even favor. Let me tell you again. Favor is better than money. The favor of God. When you got favor with God, you got favor with man. Thank you, Lord God. This favor will open up doors for you. Thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. God will open some doors in the mighty name of Jesus that no man is able to shut. Thank you, Lord God. But not only will he do that, but God will shut a door that no man is able to open in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God. We praise and glorify you still even the favor, Lord God, in the name of Jesus that's over our lives, that's able to change some rules, changing regulations and policies in the name of Jesus that men are writing. God, I thank you in the name of Jesus. We praise you, Lord God, because of favor in the mighty name of Jesus that's going to meet the needs in our lives. We bless you and honor you right now. Your favor, Lord God, abundantly. Thank you, Lord God, is abounding in the life of your sons and your daughters this morning. We thank you for your favor. It's on me. It's on me. You got to put your hand on yourself and declare the favor of God is on me. In the name of Jesus, favor is on me. Thank you, Lord God. We declare, Lord God, your word. Favor that's working.
asking for us even now. In the name of Jesus, we praise and glorify you, Lord God, this day. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare in your word. We thank you once again because even when we pray, Lord God, you say whatever we ask in prayer, whatever we ask in prayer, whatever we are trusting and believing, and we got the confidence, Lord God, in your word. If we would just believe, thank you, Lord God, that we have those things that we have asked of you. And Father, I thank you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. They are mine. They're mine in the name of Jesus. You got to declare it is mine. Everything that God says I have a right to in the name of Jesus is mine. Thank you, Lord God. It's mine in the mighty name of Jesus. God, we praise you. We glorify you. In the name of Jesus, we glorify your name. We delight ourselves in you. Day and night, Lord God, in your word, meditating, Lord God, on the word of God. You said as we meditate in this word, Lord God, that we will make our way prosperous. We would have good success. Father, I thank you. We want to stay in the word. Stay in the word of God in Jesus' mighty name. Let your word, Lord God, in your mighty name. Govern everything that we do. Lord God, we put a Lord God is frontless on our eyes. Lord God, let it govern. Govern what we do in the name of Jesus. The word of God to lead you, guide you in the name of Jesus. Father, we praise and magnify you. We thank you right now in the mighty matchless name of Jesus. We praise you, Lord God, even through your word. Job 22, 20, uh, 38. Amen. The word of God tells us, amen, if you decide and decree a thing, amen, that the light of God's favor. Thank you, Lord God. Listen, it's going to be established in your life. Thank you, Lord God, when you decide, when you decree some things. That's why you got to make up in your mind and start declaring the word of God, speaking what God has spoken, what God say over you, what God say, thank you, Lord God, that you have, what God say you can do. In the name of Jesus, when you start decreeing, declaring it out of your mouth, in the name of Jesus, you're going to see the light of God's favor. You're going to see the favor of God like never before. Father, we bless you. We honor you in your mighty name. We thank you for your sons. Thank you this morning for your daughters. We thank you, Lord God, because we're standing on your word. We're standing on, Lord God, what you've already spoken. We thank you in the name of Jesus. We praise and glorify you, Lord God this day, Lord God, and even as we look to you, every negative thought, every negative word, Father, we will not entertain it. In the name of Jesus, anything that's contrary, Lord God, to your truth, Lord God, that is contrary to what you have spoken. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, we right now, we reject it, Father, in the name of Jesus, we are casting these things down. And Father, I thank you in the name of Jesus. We praise and glorify you because out of the abundance of our heart, our mouth is going to speak. We thank you, Lord God, let out, Lord God, let it be filled. Our spirit, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, on the inside of us, fill, Lord God, with your word. In the name of Jesus, we're declaring what you've already spoken is coming to pass. We thank you in the name of Jesus. We praise and glorify you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Listen, let the redeem of the Lord say so. You have to say so in the name of Jesus. I'm redeemed, thank you, Lord God, from the hand of the enemy. I thank you, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We praise and glorify you because we can do all things through you. It's through you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ who gives us the strength. You give us the ability, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. And we already know we are overcomers. We overcome what? By the blood of the Lamb. The words of our testimony. You overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the words, thank you, Father, of your testimony. In the mighty name of Jesus, we praise you, we glorify you. We thank you, Lord God, still again. Sons and daughters, stand on the word. Stand on it in the name of Jesus. Remember, death and life is in the power of your tongue. What you speak, what you say, in the name of Jesus, watch those words that you're releasing. Watch the words that you're speaking out of your mouth. Speak God's word. Speak what God say in the name of Jesus. Stop accepting everything what somebody else say. Say what God say. Thank you, Lord God. God say I'm blessed. I'm blessed. God said favor. I got favor. In the mighty name of Jesus, we praise you. We glorify you, Lord God. We thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God. I pray for the men this morning. I thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We pray for our spouse. We pray for the fathers. We pray for the brothers. We pray for the sons and nephews, grandsons, uncles in the name of Jesus, cousins. Lord God, we lift them up. In the name of Jesus, we're declaring the word over them. Thank you, Lord God, whatever Jordan is in front of them. God, we decree and declare and they cross it over. In the name of Jesus, every place, Lord God, what you promise. In the mighty name of Jesus, the land. Lord God, I thank you in the name of Jesus. They're taking over in the 
out of you. Oh. Hey, it ain't no matter. God, I thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you in the name of Jesus. We praise you and glorify you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, that they're strong in you. Strong, Lord God, and courageous. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, to do what you're commanding. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, I pray, break, Lord God, destroy every yoke, Lord God, of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, thank you for warriors that know how to pray. That is praying. That's decreeing, declaring the word of the Lord. We thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you right now. We thank you, Lord God. They're strong in you. Strong in your might, God. We bless you. We honor you right now. In the name of Jesus, thank you for deliverance. Thank you, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We praise and glorify you, Lord God, even as we bind, Lord God, the hand of the enemy. You said whatever we bind here in the earth, you'll bind it in heaven. We bind right now every satanic agenda in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that's been released, Lord God, over our men. We decree and declare right now, Holy Ghost, arrest. Father, I thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I pray right now, destroy every weapon, every spirit, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord Lord God, that you annihilate, Lord God, every spirit of Jezebel. In the name of Jesus, we come against every perverted spirit. We come, Lord God, against every spirit of confusion. We come against every spirit of deception. In the name of Jesus, the devil still is a liar. And God, I thank you. I praise and glorify you, Lord God, that our men are who you say, Lord God, that they are. We bless and honor you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you today. They're walking in victory in the name of Jesus. Walking in victory. Walking in who God say they are. Thank you, Lord God. And even as you continue to pray and you believe God, remember we walk by faith. We walk by faith. We're not walking by the things that we see in the natural. Thank you, Lord God. We're operating in the realm of the spirit. Remember God is a spirit. And they that worship him, we worship in spirit and in truth. We bless God in the mighty name of Jesus. And still again, I'm decree and declare it. Thank you, Lord God. Blessed and favored by God. We are blessed and favored by God in Jesus' mighty name. By the authority, God, of the name of Jesus Christ, I still render every demonic spirit, every attack that would come up against us, our health, our family, even our finances, still helpless, still powerless and operative and still ineffective. We decree, declare the word of the Lord. Thank you, Lord God. God said, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. In the name of Jesus, stand on his word, saints of God, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise God. Blessed and favored by God. Once again, we bless the Lord for you all this morning. Thank you, woman of God, once again for the prayer and for the word. Blessed and favored by God. Listen, as you go throughout the day, I pray that you are encouraged. Encourage someone else. Amen. Speak life and not death. Speak victory and not defeat. And know that you are way more than conquerors. You're overcomers. Amen. You've been brought with the price, the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Listen, live on purpose. Live with the purpose and live the purpose-driven life. God bless you, and we love you to peace, to life. Amen. God bless you.